to sing, dance, pretend, and I like to have fun, 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 would accurately represent uh, what we do here on Grand Theft Audio. Uh, this is Jake Belcher. I'm in studio with nobody. That's okay. Um, apparently, I smell this week or something because, uh, you know, no Brant, no Leah, um, no sometimes co-host Carl, who did offer to come in, but he said he could be here for like three minutes. I'm like, oh, that's not very helpful, man. Like, uh, So, um, no, but I appreciate the offer. Uh, and our, uh, our guest... Also got stuck in uh, L.A. traffic. I, I don't know if stuck. It, stuck didn't sound accurate to me. Um, it sounds like they never ventured out into L.A. traffic, at least by, like, what I was hearing going on in the background of that. Because, like, who has TV going on behind them? Like, they tried to say it was radio, but it was definitely TV. Like, um, I recognize the difference between, like, a, a, a cartoon talk show and, like, Music Man. So, um, geez, guy, you shouldn't have tried to trick me like that. It doesn't really matter. We're going to have a good time here on Grand Theft Audio this week anyways. Uh, again, this is Jake Belcher. Uh, this is September 7th. You're watching live on Zinna.tv, the name that shall stand the test of time. Uh, I was looking at this uh, poster behind me, uh, Jaws. I, I don't think I ever noticed this before. But, like, okay, you're probably not going to be able to tell on this one because, like, uh, it's going to be really small to you. But I think that this chick swimming here is naked. I think that, like, uh, this terrible shark is going to eat a, like a, a naked girl. I never really, really looked at it that close, but um, now you have a reason to go look up that image. And um, Okay, look, I'll, I'll give you a minute to do it now. Oh, man, I never should have suggested this. Now I have to kind of guess how good everyone's going to be at looking at things online. Um, <sighs> take the image down, the screen down. Type in Jaws poster. How do you spell Jaws? Um, go open up the image again. You'll see. You can come back here and you can look. It has all four letters in it. It's J A W S. It's the official version. Now, uh, you know, minimize this window again and go to the other window and type in a, a Jaws movie poster. And um, okay, there's people with dreidels. Not Jews movie poster. It's Jaws. Like, uh, are you a bad typer or something? Okay, look, I'm gonna. I'm going to move on from this one person that's having a problem finding a big image of this and hope that the rest of you have um, found it and looked at it and said, yeah, I think that might be a naked lady because uh, that's the conclusion I came to when I put that on the wall earlier today. Uh, I know why I put it on the wall. I went to uh, SeaWorld. I don't know if you guys have been to SeaWorld lately, uh, but I heard heard that they were getting rid of like their, Sa their Shamu show, which is uh, – one of my favorite things from my childhood. Do you guys have that video of the Shamu? All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, there she is. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's looking good. She's looking real good. Yeah, I mean, I think she's naked, dude. I don't see nothing there. I mean, she's about to, you know, eat some naked lady. I like that. Thank you guys for finding that. I should have just asked you instead of our viewers to do it, you know? But here we are. <laughs> okay, you guys have that video on, uh, on uh, the Shamu show? Look at that, she jumps in the water. It's, ma it's majestic. She gets in front of him and then like uh like pushes her across the water so she's like riding on his face. It's uh they're they're getting rid of like the uh the exciting show at SeaWorld. So I went down to see this before it like went away. But then I found out they got rid of the show like five years ago. You fucking people who complained it away, now we can't be in in the water with them anymore. None of this stuff. She gets to do all sorts of awesome things. Like, now they just stand on the edge and they watch it swim around. Like, they don't get to do this? Um, you'll, you'll never get to see this again unless you probably, like, go to another country. I bet other countries don't have rules that say, oh, you can't ride Shamu's face. I bet in Dubai you can ride Shamu's face. There can't be those same rules. There's no way. And he looks so happy to have her on his face. Look at that. They're, like, like super tall now. Man. And this can't exist anymore because, like, one person got eaten by, like, a Shamu. I love it. 
I love it. Hey, jump forward to like 745. Watch this trick that this dude does. He, he like totally lumberjacks this Shamu man. He's like, um, he just jumps in the water in front of it. Now he, yeah, he rides it like it's some type of horse or something. But then he, he, he runs on it like he's in a log rolling competition. That's awesome! That's just never gonna happen like in America again because you people are like, oh, it's cruelty to like animals and stuff. It's not cruelty. That's like the best thing that ever happened to that guy. He fucking loves it. Like he loves having that guy right on his back. And like if he gets later hungry later, he can eat him. I mean, I don't care how long this guy got to do it. Like let's train someone else. As soon as you're like good at that, then you know it could be food. I was reading the description of this show. This show used to be 25 minutes long. You see, they have like a platform there, and they'd get up there, and they'd hold like fish up, and it would come and it would jump up, and it would eat it. But, like, it's all dangerous now. The show's like 12 minutes long. It's half as long as it used to be, and in the middle of it, they're calling it One Ocean with Shamu. And it's the only thing that could be in the water. I mean, like, if the whole show is about how you have to share the water, but like, they can't actually share it there. Hopefully, it makes me mad, man. Like, uh, it makes me mad. So, anyways, go back and watch this later, too. That's Shamu, and he's, uh, you know, riding with people on his back. Uh, and you're just not going to get to see that in America anymore. It's it's sad. And, like, I remember when I was a little kid, like, I, okay, so I, I sat in the very front row. The very front row of the splash zone. You know the splash zone where they come and they go, oh, you're going to get... Like, they say, like, up here, oh, you're going to get wet, but down here, you're going to get drenched. Like, things are going to go wrong. Your electronics are going to get fucked up, man. Uh, I sat in the front row, nothing. Like, uh, I, I got zero splashes on me. It, it, it's pathetic now, and um, it's just not worth it. It is worth it, though, if you like dolphins, because they, they um, I think that collectively we've all decided we don't give a shit about dolphins. Like, they have nine dolphins going at the same time. They're all jumping over the air. They're all up in the air at the same time. They all come splashing down at the same time. Like, that, that, that has to take some type of abuse to make them all do it at the same time. But we don't give a shit. Like, uh, somehow um, we're, we're, we'll allow them to flip around all in the air they want. And they, they're doing corkscrews and landing on their tails. And, you know, we're just, uh, we, we don't give a shit about their safety. So... Uh, good job, Dolphins. Thank you for having an entertaining show. But the Shamu show is now... Shit. Yeah, it's shit. Uh, okay, was there anything else good there? Um, okay, they had this part where you get to walk through a, like a tunnel in the water that has sharks going on top of it. And uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, you're looking up and you get to see all the like the sharks going above you. And you see like sharks have some pretty fucked up teeth. They're actually pretty ugly creatures from underneath. From above, they look nice. From the from the the bottom, oh boy, it's a, it is a, uh, it's like a, an English party or something where everyone's all, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up, man. It's, it's not good. Uh, well, so they had they had penguins, but like um, you know these penguins, like all the glass was uh, like they, they heated up the glass or something, so you couldn't see through it very well. It was it was not a, a good example of probably how penguins really live. That part kind of sucked. Um, yeah, SeaWorld, man. Uh, don't go for the old show because it's basically uh, crap now. Uh, I've been to a lot of theme parks this summer. I actually just went out and got my 2017 pass to Magic Mountain. Uh, I basically figured out that, like, uh, you could also get this deal for $100. And, um, oh, no. We're not saying hi. Huh? We're saying, oh, man, that's very sad. Okay, oh, we will stay on SeaWorld for one more second. The best part of SeaWorld actually was like kind of a view like this where you get to just see them swimming around underneath in their, you know, kind of natural setting going in like circles and stuff, and that part was awesome. But um, so thanks for, for reminding me. There was a good part about the Shamus, but um, it, it, all in all, it basically uh, sucked dick. Uh, okay, back on to a Magic Mountain. I went, out, went to Magic Mountain. I got my 2017 pass. I love theme parks and stuff. I got to do something brand new I've never done before. They have something called, like, the Virtual Revolution or something like that. And you get to wear uh, virtual reality glasses as you go through uh, the ride. So everything's all, like, synced up to what you're doing. And you're doing flips and loops. And you're trying to fight and take down these alien forces. And I found out later that, like... You get a different adventure 
Like, uh, my wife, who was sitting next to me, apparently didn't kill one of them. She didn't shoot at any of them. Yeah, we went on the spider. It was awesome. Like, uh, you can see, like, there's uh, beams and, like, jets and things all flying around. But apparently, she, like, she sucked. And she, like, died really quick. She didn't even realize that, like, you can shoot things with these. I think, she, I think that she was, I think she really, really liked it. Like, uh, I've never heard her be so, oh, oh, <laughs> but in a playful way. Like, she enjoyed it, you know? It wasn't, like, cardiac arrest or something, but she was definitely, ah, and into it. But I was, like, uh, super stoned, and I figured out really early about the shooting reticle, and I killed everything, man. I took down the uh, the final alien j bosses going across and just crashing into the, uh, the place right in front of you, and it was awesome. I totally recommend that. But, okay, the reason that I got this pass is because uh, you can, like, eat for free all of 2017 i'm gonna try to eat as many meals as i possibly can at, off of this free pass and just like see if i can like you know maybe bankrupt uh six flags or something <laughs> if, if i live close to there i would eat, eat every meal but it takes like 20 minutes from my house to get there that's not that bad though right like 20 minutes for me to eat and, and my wife has the pass also so we can go there and we can get like lunch and then, like, take an hour break where you're allowed to get, like, a snack. And then uh, come back uh, and get, like, dinner. So you can walk out of there, like, every day for, like, uh, mm, 15, 15, 30, uh, 5, 5, 40, uh, another 30. You can walk out of there every day with, like, 70 bucks worth of food. <laughs> and I can do that all the way until, like, the end of 2017. You're going to be in fucking trouble. Like, you guys are going to come to me with some type of cash offer and be like, please, sir. Stop taking advantage of us. Like we, we just don't. We only have so many nachos and so many um, hamburgers. And I'm gonna try everything you guys got. Like this is gonna be your financial ruin. That's what I predict. Uh, also, um, yeah, it's gonna be great. There's a whole new, a new ride coming there next year that looks great. I'm sure that uh, it'll be lots of fun. And there's also um, you know like Halloween horror nights and those types of things. And I, I like all that stuff. So. Uh, yeah, that's going to be great. Hey, uh, I know we actually are, are over time. I can't believe this segment went longer than usual. I thought for sure this was going to take forever and a day. So we're going to go to our first uh, break, but we're going to come back on the other side with something brand new. I'm going to tell you right now. It's called Fuck You. Yeah, that's right. Fuck you. You have to learn what that is, right? It has a lot to do with that sweater vest, the sweater vest of knowledge and truth. So uh, watch these commercials and come back. Jason Stewart here for Zena TV. On the show Absolutely Jason Stewart, every Wednesday at 1 p.m., big guests, everyone from the gayest to gay to the straightest to straight. David, uh, what was his name? He's absolutely Jason, he's absolutely gay, he'll absolutely brighten up. What we do here is go back, 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 back. This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, B.K.A. Godzilla Lung. Yeah, what's up? This is Craig Wayne. What's good? It's your boy Marcus Parker. And you're watching Z. Z Hollywood TV. And it's uh, Mary Carey, of course, politically naughty with Mary Carey. I'm always naughty. I'm always politically. My behavior is always politically, politically no naughty. I'm never politically correct. Dr. Dr. Drew, Drew hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so guys, how are you? It's all teary-eyed, doctor. I know. She wished she could live at rehab. <laughs> but only if Dr. Drew's there. Obviously, sure. if someone like, you know, is a little too groping might be inappropriate, but I like the flirting. Well, when I, when I, I walked in, you shoved my head in your <laughs> No! Are you going to sue me? <laughs> Get Politically Naughty with Mary Carey, Mondays at 4 p.m. Did you know that 67% of American women are size 14 and above? You mean they look like this? Yeah, girl. So then where are we in television and film? And where are we in fashion magazines and clothing stores? Yeah. So we want to help out entertainment and fashion and media. Catch the F up. Watch us on Plus This live every Thursday at 7 p.m. on Zena TV. You ran from home and you're on the street. You've been ripped off, you've been used, and you could be killed. There is a way out. There is a way off the street. Not tomorrow, but now. Runaway Hotline will get you off the street. 
Call Runaway Hotline toll free anytime, day or night. Runaway Hotline gets your message to those who care. Call now and get off the street. All right, party people, we're back here on Grand Theft Audio Radio. This is Jake Belcher coming at you live on Zinna.tv. All right, so i uh, let you know before the break uh, about the existence of our next, you know, feature thing we're going to do. What are we going to call it? Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Fuck You. Uh, fuck You is uh, something I've been thinking about doing for a while. Um, I said this sweater vest over here in this chair will have something to do with it, so I gotta grab that. And uh, hey, I'll take these off because uh, it's not gonna look. Okay, I don't know, maybe I can. It'll be fine, right? I, I need to hear and make sure I'm not making any weird noises. All right, fuck you. Sweater vests make you look smart. So you want to look smart? Damn it! When you go to school, because. Fuck you is a school. This is going to be F free. Because, God damn it, you know you're not paying shit for this. Uh, o is a of. Hmm, no, I'm not going to make a song about of. And a C for charge. So this is FOC University. Fuck you. Where we're going to like help people who uh, haven't you know, gone to school. Or um, maybe they can't afford... Uh, cable to like see important news stories or they're just all checked out from life and uh we're gonna teach them all the important things that they have to learn <sighs> you know what man i don't think you have to like learn anything <laughs> like uh honestly like don't really learn it from here like this this is a free education it's worth uh, what you're paying for it and um like, next week, we're going to have a fancy graphic. It's going to have a big F, like, there, probably, roughly. Yeah, like, right about there. And then it'll be, like, uh, um, an O. And then, like, a C. And then uh, it'll probably be a U, because fuck you. Okay, what do we want to talk about this week? Um, I don't even have, have like, a great idea as the types of things that you should learn. Okay, here here's the, the argument I was uh, coming that I was having on the way into the studio today. Uh, everyone out there probably knows that uh, I enjoy marijuana. I think it's delicious and nutritious. And just uh, it has uh, no calories, so uh, it's good for you. And, um, you know, in the end, I think it's, uh, it just makes you feel nice. But anyways, like here in California, we have this vote coming up. It's the Adult Use of Marijuana Act. And um, there's all sorts of great things. It makes it so you can grow up to six plants uh, at your residence. It also makes it so um, you can, uh, you know, just smoke weed and not go to jail for it. And it'll let, let a lot of people who are in jail right now for doing things uh, out of jail because, you know, they probably shouldn't be there for life or some crazy deal that they got going on. Uh, all of my uh, pothead friends uh, all support it, think it's a great idea, and are super looking forward to it. Here's the deal, though, guys. you got to vote against this shit. Like, um, I, I know that it seems, like, uh, you know, counterintuitive to, like, my own needs and wants, but um, I don't think it's a good idea. Like, the, he, here's my problem with it. I have a lot of friends that are drug dealers, and this is going to put them out of business. Honestly, like, these people are too dumb to do anything else. There's no real reason for them to, um... Yeah, there's gonna be no reason for, like, people to visit them. They're gonna have sad lives. Like, right now, they just sit in their house. People come over, and they, like, buy their drugs, and they hang out for, like, 10, 15 minutes because you don't want it to look, like, super fast, like you're just there to get drugs. Like, you have to pretend that, like, it's your friend or something, and everyone stays there for 10 minutes exactly. But anyways, like, when you're sitting there, like, this guy's important, and he's making some money, and he's, um... You know, life is good for him. He feels like like part of society and stuff. But if we just have, like, the government saying, okay, everyone can, like, buy drugs at the store now, then, like, what's this guy going to do? Like, is he going to have to develop a personality or, like, reasons for people to visit him? Um, is he going to have to go out and find a real job? I hope that he's done a good job of, like, saving money. I hope that once he realizes that 
the possibility of legalized drugs and him not being able to make money on the black market anymore was coming that he started saving every dollar that he could because um, he, he, see, he, he has a bleak future. I, I, I just don't think that um, most of these drug dealers are smart enough to do anything else. It's just, um, I mean, how, how much, how, how, how smart do you have to be now to like, but oh, this is an eighth in a baggie, and uh, give me that sixty dollars, which is a ludicrous price now. Like, I don't, I don't understand how. Okay, this, this may seem counterintuitive to my main point, but I don't understand how like illegal drug people are still charging what they did before, like m m uh, medical marijuana hit the streets and made all the prices sky like skydive skyrocket like it's like thirty dollars now for an eighth of like the best weed that you could possibly get when it used to be sixty dollars for like an eighth of mm, i don't even know what this is i mean it's probably good but if you want to buy something like really nice it'd be like 80 bucks or like a hundred dollars but they, they, they still can get away with that somehow i i, I don't get it uh, I, I guess that's why they're the drug dealers and i'm not right <laughs> i mean like if i could figure out how to get someone to give me eighty dollars for an eighth then i would do it but i i i, I can't so I have to instead have this show where I get to dispense um, advice. So there's a lesson number one. Uh, sometimes you have to vote against your best interests, even though, you know, like it says, it's against your best interests. So uh, that's not very good. Uh, what do I have for um, for number two? Uh, number two. Um, I had a list, man. But then I got distracted because I looked up the world's biggest boobs on the way in. God damn it. I can't believe that happened. Colin Kaepernick. Hey, why are you people being such a fag to this guy, man? Like he's um, he's just trying to like stand up for what he believes in. And you guys are totally being like, um, you know, shit dickers. Like all these people who want to be like mad that, oh, he doesn't stand up for the national anthem. I, I, I know that you're not standing up for the national anthem either. Like when you're sitting at home watching TV, there's there's no way that you're standing up and, oh, I, I support all the, the, everything that this song stands for. There's no way that you're doing that. You're yelling at your wife like, give me another beer, you fucking bitch, or something along those lines. That sounds a lot more likely to me than um, you actually standing up and uh, saluting the flag all the time. Uh, also, a lot of people are making some pretty wild-ass accusations about how like uh, he doesn't like the uh, the military. Like, that song is only here for the military. No, you know what, man? He's like, the military is fine, but fuck the police, which we've taken. That's been our stand here forever. It's all, it's fuck the police. Those people are, um, you know, they have a lot of power, and they have um, a lot of hatred, and they have a lot of, like, reasons to feel that they're, like, better than you. And uh, fuck the police, especially if you're, like, uh, a minority. Like, I, I say fuck the police, and they barely fuck with me. But when they do, like, it's a, it's, it's a terrible situation. And, and I'm, I know that I'm not in the demographic of people that is likely to get shot over something that's, uh, you know, unwarranted. But that shit exists. And for him to, like, stand up for it, I think it's wonderful. I think it's, like, one of the few examples I've ever seen of, like, bravery. So, like, all this old people who are sitting around, like, oh, he's, he's disrespecting the, the country and he's disrespecting the military. It, it, it has nothing to do with the military and it has nothing to do with uh, the country. It has to do with the way that uh, peop that the police are treating minorities. So like instead of just getting mad and figuring out that you can like yell and scream about things, maybe you should like listen to what someone's actually like uh, trying to raise awareness about, and then you can see um, you know that it's probably not what you think it is. So I stand behind Colin Kaepernick. I think his whole idea of giving a million dollars to like poor people that was crazy because it's actually throwing money at poor people doesn't really work. There's a whole bunch of other ways of making things work. But um, you know, you guys need to like settle down. I know that this week it'll be a bigger story because we're actually into like uh, the regular season and stuff. But it's not what you think it is. Uh, you're pr if, if you're mad about this, uh, you're probably wrong. What else we got going on? We've got a whole bunch of people who are now talking about um, Hillary Clinton and her coughing fits. I don't know if you guys have seen any videos of this, but she's all all over the place, just um, <coughs> and people are like, oh, she's she's sick and stuff, and like we we can't have someone who's sick running for president because like they're gonna die or something. I guess that's the reason that we don't want people who are sick. 
But honestly, like, there's a lot more reasons to vote against her than, like, her sickness. So, um, stop watching those videos. I watched a video of, where there's someone who had, like, 800,000 views of her just coughing for four minutes. Like, how can that be interesting to people? I think you have to watch, like, most of the video to get credit for it. Are we going to see her do some coughing? <laughs> yeah, man. We assume you won't be... You know, this show... Uh, I was reading so people are like, oh, we can't have her on be our president because she's going to die. <laughs> like, um, we really, there, there's so many worse things about her. She's, she's, just, she's an awful person in general. So let's not let this be it. More, more coughing. This is awesome. Especially in science, technology, engineering. I wonder what the right news is about. <coughs> so this scholarship program is exactly what we need. And I've been talking all day, so excuse me. <laughs> Sounds like she's so, getting like a, a long way in a short period of not deep throated, but throated. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, <laughs> excuse me. She's, she's, like, <laughs> she's like, so she's, she's, she has coughing fits. So she's probably like a so, secret smoker or something. And she's probably just being dishonest about what her health is like. I, I, I can get around all that stuff if she thinks that she's gonna make it to like the swearing day and everything's gonna be fine uh you know mo more power to her but let's not eliminate her because of this let's eliminate her because uh, she's a terrible person that um you know is shady and shiesty all right hey those are our first three lessons here for um fuck you it, i'll have this whole idea worked out better and it's kind of dropped me today because that motherfucker didn't leave his house and i know it i'm gonna get you man i'm gonna get you I like <laughs>Last week we had Andre Royal, who was an awesome guest. He told so us some really ever. interesting stuff about yeah. The Wire. Um, Dev told him that he's never really watched The Wire, which, which was, was really awful. awful. And it wasn't like, awful at Just all. a terrible thing to tell just him. A Can you imagine person. if like yeah, people me. showed up on Letterman or Leno, and he was like, you know, I didn't really watch this. No, people it. say it's the greatest television Can you imagine if that time. happened, Jeff? Can you imagine if I give you a knuckle sandwich right now? I a knuckle, knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's get digital. Wednesday, 6 p.m. on T Radio V. was a disgusting promo ricky like uh if i see you i'm gonna kick you in the balls for doing that right in my ears like uh you got a receipt coming monkey chucka all right we're back here on grand theft audio radio this is jake belcher coming at you live on zinna.tv
Uh, let's see, something we love to do here on Grand Theft Audio. We love to talk about holidays. And since it's a brand new month, it's a, a brand new month of holidays. So let's see what we got going on. This is AKC, Responsible Dog Ownership Month. So, responsible owner, put them down. They're all dangerous to children. That's how we celebrate this holiday. It's also All-American Breakfast Month. But what I guess an All-American Breakfast would be, I would think it would be lots of bacon, some beer, maybe some porn on the TV. Now that sounds like a holiday worth celebrating. We've also got Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Month. Um, what was that? Atten Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Month. Uh, I don't know how one celebrates that. I think we just um, like spaz out a little bit. Mm, I'm gonna leave that up to you, like your own discretion, guys. Like, however you feel best to celebrate that, uh, you go and do that yourselves. Let's see. We've also got um, Baby Safety Month. Uh, super important that you always put the safety on your baby. Like, if you just leave your baby sitting around half cocked without the safety on, whatever happens to it is your responsibility. So watch it. You don't want to be a criminal and end up on, like, the Sally Jesse Raphael show saying, I didn't realize that the baby could take the safety off. Of course the baby can take the safety off. That's why you put them in the little gloves. God, you irresponsible pieces of shit. We've also got Backpack Safety Awareness Month. Twice I've been choked out by a backpack. So this one has to be taken very seriously. Like back in the 90s when I went to school, you had you put your backpack over one shoulder. And like if something went wrong, it would uh, 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 that way. Uh, always do it the responsible way. Take it off the over the shoulder. Put both arms into it. Like it's very, very hard for it to attack you if you've got uh, both of the straps around your arms. That's uh, a word to the wise from someone who knows. Hmm. Blood Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> You're on your own with that one again, guys. Like I'm not, I'm not thinking about that. How about uh, Be Kind to Editors and Awareness Month? I know. I didn't even look over there because I remembered two of them. Yeah. Uh, if I had an editor, I would go back and I would cut that out and rearrange it. Uh, but we don't have one of those here because everything goes out live because that's the magic of uh, Zinna.tv. We've got uh, Bourbon Heritage Month. Uh, I've been drunk on many bourbons. I could probably list like uh, 15 of them, but I think that you should start your own list. So go get messed up on some bourbon and, you know, like write down a list because that's how you make it heritage. If, if you don't document what you drank, then... You're just getting drunk for fun, and it has <laughs> really nothing to do with life and uh, what's going on. That does look delicious, though. I don't know, I don't know what he's uh, covering with his hand. He's really trying to cover the bottle like it's some cheap thing. He's like, oh, like, I can't let him know that I'm pouring him garbage. <laughs> like, if it was like Dewar's or something, he'd be like, motherfucker, I'll leave the label uncovered drinking that Dewar's. What else we got this month? We've got Children's Good Manners Month. I'm not sure um, if it's even possible for children to have good manners. Like all I see are monsters and beasts who are always, uh, you know, yelling inappropriate things and being bad. So I don't think this holiday exists. How about? Oh yeah, here's a holiday that exists: Children's Cancer Month. I mean, every year, right, guys? Every year we celebrate Children's Cancer Month. I'm not sure, like, uh, why we would do that. I don't, I'm not sure why we're celebrating half of these things. Why are we celebrating cholesterol education? Like, is there a, a class that you're supposed to go take? Like, oh, things that come out of a chicken's ass does this to my heart. Oh, it just <sighs> who made these holidays? These are these are just fucking terrible. How about um? Oh, it's also Eat Chicken Month. So cholesterol awareness, Eat Chicken Month. There must be some type of lobby out there that's making sure that farm animals are covered in a holiday in every possible possible way uh fall hat month i'm not even kidding what type of a hat do you wear in the fall um probably one that says like uh 108 days till christmas because that's what it is right now 108 days till christmas can you believe it's only 108 days till christmas um you should start getting your list ready for santa right now 
How about um, it's go wild. Oh, that has a nice full head. How about it's go wild during um California Wild Rice Month. Now that's one I can celebrate, man. Wild rice is delicious. Like domesticated rice, you taste like shit. I hate you, domesticated rice. Who all you can be indoors with like no claws or something. I don't need you. You're yucko. You're yucko. What else we got? All right. Gynecology Awareness Month. Now this is just the creepy type of holiday that I'd like to delve deeper into. Um, gynecologists. It probably sounded like a great job at the beginning, but then you probably see a lot of like, um, don't go look up Blue Waffle. <laughs> and you guys don't go look up Blue Waffle either. I do not want this image on the show at all. It's it's too yucko even for me, man. Like, I do not want that on the show. Literally, I do not want that on the show. It's too fucking much, man. It's too goddamn much. Okay, what else we got? Yeah, now that guy could probably stick his finger inside you and tell, like, you know, is this natural slime or did you put this on here before you got here? So I think that people are probably trying to trick them. They probably try to, like, put a bunch of... Um, juiciness upside them so like when they check they're like oh yeah you're perfectly normal because who wants to hear that you're like non-juicified or something happy cat month Ow. Okay. <laughs> i like my kitties i wish they were here right now in fact that that would be the ultimate guess for me because i would just sit here the whole show long as i pet them and they like Ow, get away from me like they wouldn't last long in my in my hands uh, is what I'm saying. They, they, they're not down for affection, but if you grab them by the back of their neck and you kind of shake them a little bit, and you're like, no, you, you're doing what I say. And you kind of like push them down into your arms a little bit and you pet them and you're like, oh, yeah, man. Like, now you're a happy cat, aren't you? You're a real, oh, oh. oh. I see that guy and I'm like, oh. I couldn't pick him up by the back of his neck and like shake him around <laughs> just to like teach them obedience, but yeah, I think I probably could. What else we got? Okay, uh, I'm going to give a prize to whoever can tell me what this means. It is Histiocytosis Awareness Month. Histiocytosis Awareness Month. It has a link because no one knows what histiocytosis is. But I'm going to tell you, man, as soon as our lightning fast internet loads this page, September is Histiocytosis Awareness Month. Every September, the histio community joins together to raise awareness about histiocytosis. They need your help though, because together we can educate people about it. What is histiocytosis? Um, there's a lot of words, man. I wasn't prepared for this. I'm gonna say it looks like some shit you don't want. So maybe shower better. I'm not, I don't wanna read any further into this because I don't have histiocytosis. And I'm going to wager you don't either. So maybe this one specific one is a waste of time. So goodbye, histiocytosis. Oh, man, actually, it does look bad. <laughs> um, you know what? You should look it up. Like, just for your own weird um, knowledge of having to know every disease, you got to look, go look it up yourself. I'm not going to tell you on here because I only have, like, six or seven hours left and it's not worth it to spend the time to tell you guys about that uh so we're gonna skip on that one um hunger action month who doesn't think we should take some action about hunger baby like uh before the show when i found out that i was gonna have any guests i'm like oh oh man i got some hunger so i went next door to subway and i ate some cheetos because i trust that they can have chips but i don't trust their sandwiches their sandwiches are like you know shit on a cracker it's terrible for you like i'm not sure what their meat is really made out of or any, any of the other stuff i shouldn't really say anything bad about them because they probably will, will could sue but, but let's be honest they're not gonna watch this like they have jared like touching kids like uh in the bathrooms there but they, they can't particularly care much about what i'm saying here so ignore my ramble against subway and how terrible they are okay we're just gonna go through a fast list on these we've got international national guide dogs month so, you know, if you're traveling to Paris and you want to, like, make sure your dog knows uh, how to get you to the, the, the loo, um, then you want you want to like, put some money towards that organization. We've got um, International People Skills Month. Uh, I'm the best in the world at that or something, man. Then we've also got uh, Self-Awareness Month. Totally the best in the world at that. I mean, these things go together, and they describe me and who I am. Pretty much perfect. 
uh, International Speak Out Month. You don't want to like hold it in, man. You got to speak it out. Uh, we've also got um, Strategic Thinking Month, International Square Dancing Month, which I'm basically the Michael Jordan of square dancing. I go, I, I challenge you uh, to a box off is what we should probably call that. We've also got um, International Women's Friendship Month. <laughs> International Doesn't Exist Month. Uh, ladies aren't friends. Like, uh, I know that you pretend that you are for, like, political reasons sometimes, but no way, man. Like, you can be sisters, but you're not going to be friends. Uh, National Coupon Month. That sounds awesome. I wish I had a coupon for, like, um, if I could have a coupon for anything, what would I want it to be for? Free rice a That sounds nice. Like, I'm sick of paying a dollar nineteen a box for rice a Like, I'd like a coupon for a free one. National Fruit and Veggies Month. Uh, okay, what's the best fruit? What's the best veggie? I'm going to say Paul Lind and Terry Schiavo. National Home Furnishings Month. What's your favorite item in your house? My favorite is my bed. It's very nice. Is that a furnishing? I guess so. I mean, otherwise I'd be sleeping on the floor or like on a chair. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to vote the bed as the king of the home furnishing oh man there's we're at the ends dude we're at the ends it's like i'm not even halfway through this fucking list how fast can i get through it all okay i'm just gonna try to read through it as fast as i can and see if we can get all the way through it to before the end national honey month that sounds like a sticky situation uh itp awareness month i'm not sure what itp uh individual tit pumps that sounds right to me it's individual tit pump awareness month you don't want to have to have one that you switch back and forth um, we've also got uh, National Mushroom Month, which is gross to me. National Organic Harvest Month, which sounds terrible. Uh, Osteopathic Medicine Month, it's probably full of lies. Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, uh, again, um, the 18 proved that that does not exist. Uh, the National Passport Awareness Month, um, passports are very important, especially if you leave the country. Inside the country, they're good as a second ID, I suppose, if you need it at Rent-A-Center. Uh, National Pet Memorial Month. Um, those people who do things to like memorialize their pets are terrible. They stuff them with, uh, you know, something, and they have them stand on the corner forever. Like, oh, that's Mr. Biggles. <laughs> or they bury them with like a headstone. Like either one of them is just um, yucky. Um, <laughs> Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. It's a good way of checking it. Finger up your butt. Um, Prime Beef Month. What the fuck is Prime Beef? I've heard of, like, um, choice beef, but prime, mm, again, I think that's, there's a lot of lies in this month. National Prosper Where You're Planted Month. National Recovery Month. National Slave a Tiger Month. No, it's Save a Tiger, but if we could slave them and write them around, like, then I'd definitely donate some money to that. National Sewing Month. National Service Dog Month. National Sickle Cell Month. National Translators Month. National Peduculus month what is peduculus head lice so like look around if you see anybody scratching their head they probably have insects living there and you know you don't want to share a pillow with them we've got um another prostate cancer awareness month it's prostate cancer all over the place uh national regular rice month earlier we went wild for california wild rice but apparently we're supposed to enjoy all the rice and i put my coupon towards it too so maybe i'm on the rice like pay list maybe someone got to me deep from the uh Farmers Union, like, oh, Mr. Belcher, could you please talk about rice this week? It'd be very good for our bottom line if the billions of your viewers would go out and just buy some of our rice. Then maybe we can stay in business till Christmas, which is only like 109 days away. So now whose payroll am I on? The rice people are Santas. <laughs> You'll never know. Uh, we've also got uh, National Piano Month, National Preparedness Month, um... National Wilderness Month, one-on-one uh, -on -one month, um, which, uh, you know, in the right situation could be nice, but I'm more of an orange guy. Uh, Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, Pain Awareness Month, Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, Pleasure Your Mate Month. Mm, see, these things all go together real well. Uh, Save the Koala Month, Sea Cadet Month, Self-Improvement Month, September is Healthy Aging Month, Shameless Promotion Month, Sports and Home, I... Health and Safety Month, Subliminal Communications Month, Superior Relationships Month, Thyroid Cancer Month, Update Your Resume Month, Whole Grains Month, 
Women's Friendship Month again. Uh, World's Alzheimer's Month. World Animal Remembrance Month. And lastly, for the monthlies, it's National Hispar... What is that word? Hispar... Hispanic? His Hispanic? What is that? His Hispanic? National Hispanic? His Hispanic? Uh, Hispanic? Oh, wait. It's like uh, Mexican heritage month. All right. Uh, today's uh, the 7th. The 7th, uh, we actually have some holidays today. Today was a g Google commem Commemoration Day, as Google was launched this day some years ago. Google it. Uh, it's also Grandma Moses Day. She's that lady you see in that um, picture with, like, the horn up to her ear. Like, when you think about, oh, the first earring, hearing aids. Like, this old lady can hear shit without this horn up her ear. National Attention Deficit Disorder Awareness Day, which I think I proved today that I have. Uh, it's also neither snow nor rain day. And lastly, Salami Day. <laughs> salami Day. Salami is, um, I don't know, man. I, I've had a lot of salami this summer, too. I've had a lot of, like, uh, dry salami. But it's always super oily. I don't know why they call it dry salami when it's, like, the oiliest shit you've ever cut in your life. Let's see. What do I want to talk about for the last um, two minutes before the um, feed goes down and they cut me off for another week and I can't convey the important things to me? Um, this week we have another show coming at you live from the whiskey. It's a Tuesday night here on Zinna.tv. Uh, I'll be... Kind of direct in that. It gets live at 9 p.m. You can tune in and watch that. You can also go to my website, jakesshow.com. There's probably some bullshit up on there or something. Uh, go to Facebook. Uh, look up Do Voodoo Do Wop. It is uh, Brian Scalaro's uh, page. You can see a whole bunch of fun, great videos on there. Uh, Facebook.com uh, Voodoo Do Wop. Uh, Brant is uh, going to be back next week. Unfortunately, he got uh, called into uh, action and had to do something there. Uh, next week, we do have some guests coming in, but you know, man, like I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be ready for them because I'm probably going to do the same thing and not leave their houses either. But maybe I'll get lucky and they'll come out. <sighs> this is the end, man. I don't know. It felt like, it felt like. Um, What's the right way of putting it? Like, uh, I don't want to say that I gigantically wasted your time. I mean, I tried. I, I feel you could have learned something from this week, though, if I am not mistaken. Damn, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, time happens, and then we go, and... <laughs> hey, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go out and um, play some po Pokemon Go. That would make uh, you fat ass lose some weight. Because I am a Greek goddess. God. And you are all fat turds. Sayonara. You fat pieces of shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I hate their guts. I tell them that every week, right? Yeah. It's like, why do you keep coming back? Like, if you would just stop showing up to watch, like I could stop doing the show. That would be uh, lovely. No, no, I would hate that. What am I talking about? I love it. It's my favorite part of the week. I don't, I don't know why I said that. Uh, vote Trump.